Let's talk about different kinds of seismic waves and their paths that they travel from an earthquake to a distant seismic station. One kind of waves, the body waves, travel through the interior of the Earth. These are of two varieties. There's P waves, or sometimes uh, referred to as pressure waves. They're the fastest. There's S waves, or shear waves, which are slower than the P waves, but they're faster than the surface waves, which go around the perimeter of the Earth. The ray path, the, the path that these P waves and S waves will travel from an earthquake up here to a seismic station over here would be through the interior of the Earth, through Earth's mantle. And in general, the P and S wave velocities increase with depth into the mantle, so they're going faster and faster as they go deeper into the Earth, and then they slow down as they approach the station from below. In addition to these body waves, we have the surface waves, which travel around the perimeter of the Earth. They oscillate the outer few tens of kilometers of the Earth. They're Two varieties of these, Rayleigh waves and Love waves, named for the people who discovered them. So their path of travel would be around the perimeter of the Earth, shown by this set of arrows here, because they travel in the materials near the surface, which have lower seismic velocities, slower velocities, they will arrive substantially after the body waves have already arrived at a distant seismic station. 